and I show you the if you want to check a project setting you must open it and you come to here and check the project setting and this is the project setting for your open project and as you can see the some of the field here you cannot change it once you create a project like this as I told you the setting in here you cannot change it once you create a project so make sure the field in here is what you want for your project before you create a project okay and uh, anything in here for example the display format I show you something here this is the display format 33 per second typo that's mean here that's uh, in the typo here that's a uh, hour minute second and number of frame if you select frame so they just show you the number of frame on the on the Talaya panel for example here how about this number of frame in into a 33 per second project hour minute and second how they will display so you can select here and you you click here okay in this frame they are in minute 1 minute 22 second and 15 uh, frame this is the way you you can display and if you are going to for example you are going to feature film IMAX depend on the format you want you can display as a fit and plus frame for example if your uh, feature film is a 16 mm or the, uh, 35 mm for the feature film you can select here as the display mode in here 35 mm mm display mode fit plus frame so you see in this frame in a uh, fit and frame mode they tell you this uh, 154 feet and 111 frame and 33 back to here and here for the display format for the audio this the okay when you select in when you're going to do more precise on audio editing you enable the audio in it in here so they will have by default for the audio sample they should have one two three four five five step for the one second in it so you can more precisely edit it in your project so you can get close you can see you can move anywhere in here if you disable the audio unit, you can set it as uh, on in in my this project the 33 per second project. The maximum unit is in frame here. Two unit, one two are uh, be in uh, after the second in in the second. If you select audio unit, the one two three four five five unit in here for after in into one second and if you select and uh, select here me million second and the mode hit one two three 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 step for the unit here so you can work it little bit little bit or you can work it the default one audio sample you get a, a much much more precise over on the audio unit here see and okay and how about here uh, capture yeah when you're going to capture your video you can select the capture format in here in here or from the capture capture panel video rendering optimize still I can tell you, tell you once again when you enable here for example if you have a still image I put some still image for example anyone in here and when you put the still image in your Talaya panel and in here how long for this clip this clip is uh, by default 
by default this clip have uh, 150 frame duration and in Premiere Pro they will take it as a one clip one still clip have have a one uh, 150 frame duration Premiere Pro will look at in here and if you if you disable here and Premiere Pro we are going to look look at uh, trigger look up at the uh, still image here as you one frame by frame like this like the one you trim your trim your your still image many many times like this all all on this duration so that means Premiere Pro look at the uh, still image in frame by frame by, by then and this will, it will, it will cost your CPU power and uh, also for the quality so by default you are better you are better to enable here so PMIPO can look at them as a single file and both for the quality and for the editing speed and how about default sequence default sequence in here is uh, when you uh, you remember here three track for video one for all mono two for stereo when you create a new sequence here you see by default from the setting here they uh, show you three video track one mono track stereo track and so on so on track so you just click ok to create a sequence and they have they have here they have here the one two three three video chat one mono audio chat and two stereo chat and no no five one surround sound chat in here and if you create a lot of sequence like this you don't know you just take it as the number but you can change it like this uh, so, uh, and change the mode and also I have told you the master audio mode you cannot change it once, once you create a sequence for your editing and the audio and video you can add or remove them anytime you want like the one here I selected two video chat one mono one stereo one five one so on sound chat and you can add more on it or delete some of the chat if you want uh, so I'll show you more later on the uh, feature okay here is uh, how you create a uh, consumer setting and you want to change the setting or check it check the project setting this the way and close this save it and okay Okay, this is uh, how you create a, a project from the preset or you create your consumer setting for your editing and also how to save a preset or delete a preset. Delete a preset is very easy. This is a preset that you save here, right? And if you don't want it, you can delete uh, the preset in here, click here. And here in this side, they call save preset. And this side you select a preset and you they call delete preset. This will delete a preset from your system. Are you, are you sure? No. I will not delete it. 